This is a video on setting up a hypothesis test. The question states, 32% of the residents of Swaziland live with AIDS. A researcher wants to test the claim with a level of significance alpha equals 0 0.05 that men who are circumcised have a smaller chance of getting AIDS. State the two hypotheses, interpret the type 1 and type 2 errors and alpha, and sketch the rejection region. So let's start out with the two hypotheses. We want to find out whether or not those who are circumcised have a smaller chance of getting AIDS. So notice either you get AIDS or you don't get AIDS. So we're talking about a proportion. So our null hypothesis, which we write as H naught or H sub zero, is that P for proportion equals 0.32 because 32% of the residents in Swaziland live with AIDS. Our alternative hypothesis we get from looking at the key word smaller. So we want to find out if there's a smaller chance when they're circumcised. So in particular, the alternative hypothesis, which we write H sub A, is that P is less than 0.32. So now let's interpret a type 1 error. So a type 1 error means that we reject the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is true. So that means we're going to reject that P is equal to 0.32 and accept that P is less than 0.32. So what will end up happening is we're going to think that circumcision is helpful for preventing AIDS and we're going to end up circumcising more men or maybe all men to prevent AIDS in Swaziland when in fact P is equal to 0.32, that is that it doesn't actually help prevent AIDS at all. So it will result in men getting circumcised when they don't need to. Now let's look at a type 2 error. Type 2 errors mean that we fail to reject the null hypothesis when the null hypothesis is actually false. In that case, we're not going to be able to say that P is less than 0.32. And we're going to end up saying that maybe circumcision doesn't help at all. And we're going to end up not circumcising men in Swaziland when it is true that circumcision prevents AIDS. And we'll end up having more men in Swaziland die. So that will be terrible. So now let's look at alpha. Alpha is always the probability of a type 1 error. So that means that it's a probability that the researcher concludes that circumcision helps prevent AIDS. Well, it does not actually prevent AIDS at all, because that's what a type 1 error is. So then finally, let's sketch the rejection region. Alpha is 0 0.05. We have a left tailed test. So if we have our sample size large enough, then we'll end up with a normal distribution for the sampling distribution. And the probability of 0 0.05 on the left-hand side corresponds to a critical value of negative 1.645. I can find that on the table which says that the probability of being less than negative 1.645 on a standard normal distribution is 0 0.05. So there's my rejection region to the left of negative 1.645. And there's my fail to reject region to the right. And I'm done with the problem.